So, now uh, we will discuss continuous random variables. Uh, we have already completed the discrete random variable part and we have discussed already some of the numerical examples. Hope you have understood or uh, you can go through some more numerical examples also. Now, uh, we will discuss uh, the next part it is called continuous random variable. So, how continuous random variable it will be defined. So, discrete case you can remember that uh, this distribution function is not continuous. So, whenever this random variable discrete random variable we discussed uh, it will taking the range of the random variable is either finite or uh, it will be countably infinite. Here this range it will not take the random variable it will not take the discrete values it will take some intervals. So, it will take uncountably many points. So, there are many examples we discussed suppose you are throwing a dart. So, like this some target is there and now you are trying to throw in the center, but you cannot throw it because we are not that much um, we are not uh, specialist. So, uh, we cannot throw always in the center. So, it may fall in some of the places here. So, then we just want to see what is the distance. So, this distance it may be measured like in a real line it is 0 to some suppose this is the disc and this disc maximum radius is r. So, we assume that at least we are throwing uh, inside the disc somewhere in the disc. So, then this maximum distance will be r and it will be somewhere in the, the distance will be any real number it will not be a discrete values. So, uh, here we cannot just say that this random variable is just a taking a discrete values. In that case we will consider this random variable as a continuous case, but how we will define this random variable. So, this discrete ran continuous random variable defined as follows you can see this let x be a random variable with cumulative distribution function f x x if f x x is continuous and also has a derivative which exist everywhere except at possible a finite number of points and it is each precise continuous then x is called a continuous random variable. So, we will discuss all these things. So, in that case so what it is saying so this f x x this cumulative distribution function this will be this is nothing but it is the defi definition of a cumulative distribution function for x uh, belongs to real number. It is no, not only continuous, it is derivative exist, derivative exist, exist and this derivative also continuous, derivative is continuous except uh, except finite number of points. So, we say that it is a piecewise continuous. So, and each piecewise continuous. Piecewise continuous. So, what is piecewise continuous? So, you know that you graphically if we represent a continuous function. So, it should uh, like a, it is not uh, any anywhere it is not uh, broken in this function. So, uh, graphically we represent as a continuous function. So, there is some uh, de specific definition of continuous function you know that uh, some epsilon delta definition. So, like for any epsilon greater than 0 there exist a delta greater than 0 such that uh, f x this distance uh, will be suppose we are saying that f x is continuous at a point epsilon uh, at a point x naught it is continuous. So, that uh, if you take a uh, domain x naught minus delta x naught plus delta then this function also will be inside the interval f x naught plus epsilon f x naught plus epsilon. So, if uh, x minus x naught is less than delta then uh, this should be then it is called a continuous function it is equivalent to show this graph. 
but what is piecewise continuous? Piecewise continuous means suppose if you are representing a function, sub any function suppose g, it is from r to r. So, then this function will be called piecewise continuous, it may not be continuous over r, but you can break the whole interval into finite number of interval, suppose it is minus infinity to some point a and then a to some suppose a 1 some a 1 to a 2 like this some a 1 to a 3 like this uh, some finite number of interval and then a n to infinity such that uh, in this it is continuous inside this interval then it, there may be a discontinuity then it is continuous up to a 2 and then uh, there may be a discontinuity. So, so it is continuous up to a 1. So, suppose the it is like this. So, then this is like this. So, so basically what we are showing that it may be discontinuous in a finite number of point, but it is continuous if you break whole this interval then it is continuous uh, in that interval. So, finite number of interval you have you can uh, break in the whole uh, R. So, then this is called a piecewise continuous. So, uh, whenever if you find the distribution function it is uh, it is uh, continuous and difference uh, derivative exists and derivative also they exist for all x in the real line and also derivative is piecewise continuous. So, then uh, this random variable it is called a uh, continuous uh, random variable. So, uh, continuous random variable this distribution function. So, if you uh, little uh, advance if we uh, discuss it. So, distribution function will be absolute continuous we are not going more details about it. So, it means that there will be a function uh, f uh, small f in the r to r. So, there is a function r to r such that this distribution function f of x uh, f of x can be written as uh, this is nothing but probably that x less than equal to x can be written as minus infinity to x f x t uh, d t. So, uh, so, this there will be a function. So, uh, this function is this f. So, then this f x is called uh, absolute continuous and also this uh, with respect to uh, this measure we say Lebesgue measure. So, uh, we uh, just here so then f x will be absolute continuous, but uh, if you uh, do not go in that direction uh, this is uh, we not required. So, we will assume that uh, f x is a distribution function which derivative exists and is piecewise continuous. And whenever it derivative exists, then then we define this derivative is nothing but uh, f x x by f x x, but this is nothing but derivative of this function because uh, for continuous random variable we say that the derivative exists for all x. So, then for all x belongs to real number. So, then this function it is some special name it is called the probability density function probability. So, density function probability density function. So, you may uh, understand that it is uh, uh, will understand uh, it is uh, this probability density function is analogous to the probability mass function in case of discrete case. In discrete case uh, this uh, derivative uh, does not exist for this distribution function and we define probability mass function, but in the continuous case a derivative exists for all x. So, we define here the probability density function. So, uh, so uh, probability density function it will be in the context of uh, continuous random variable and probability mass function it will be in the context of uh, probability uh, mass function will be in the context of whenever x is a discrete random variable. Now, what are the properties of the uh, probability uh, density function? So, uh, you can remember that uh, we have already uh, discussed some of the property in the case of uh, probability uh, mass function, these are the properties that it will be always 0 to 1, it will be equal to 0 if it does not belongs to the range of this random variables and it is sum of uh, this uh, things will be 1. So, now and also how we can get uh, this distribution function uh, from the probability mass function. Here also we will uh, discuss this similar uh, co similar uh, concepts. So, the probability function it is defined. So, a probability density function is defined by so by the function f of x is equal to derivative with respect to the uh, cumulative distribution f function f x x. Now, what are the properties of the uh, probability density function? So, one property is that so, because it is uh, derivative of a non decreasing function f x x is f x x we have already uh, discussed that the 
what are the uh, properties of the uh, cumulative distribution function because uh, cumulative distribution function always non decreasing. So, you can remember that cumulative distribution function we have proved this also. So, uh, here you can see uh, here we have discussed. So, if x 1 is less than x 2 then f of x a x 1 is less than equal to f of x x 2. So, here uh, we have already proved that this uh, this is non decreasing function. So, cumulative distribution function is non decreasing function. So, uh, uh, this probability density function it is the derivative of the, the CDF f of x this will be always greater than equal to 0 greater than equal to 0 for all x belongs to the real number. Second is that uh, like uh, probability mass function sum of all the uh, possible value it is taking. So, here uh, because it is a continuous random variable it will be uh, sum will be replaced by integration. So, this is minus infinity to plus infinity f of x x dx this is the probability will be a uh, probability of the certain event this is not, nothing but is equal to 1. So, that and also uh, third is that so, how we will find uh, because in this case uh, the probability we will talk about uh, this random variable taking in a interval it is not a particular point it is not discrete point it is taking it is a continuous random variable it is taking some intervals. So, we can discuss what is the probability that a is uh, x is uh, x is uh, be belongs to between a to b. So, it is nothing but same as to say that x belongs to some uh, you can ok. So, as you are writing this as a open half open half. So, closed. So, a b where a b two real number uh, where a and b are two real number and a is less than b we are considering here. So, uh, you can uh, think uh, less than equal to b but because here only one half open. So, a is less than b. So, then in that case so, what will be the probability that how we will find that using the probability density function this is nothing but a to b integration a to b f x x d x. So, uh, what is the uh, graphical interpretation of the probability density function whenever x is a continuous random variable. So, in that case so suppose your density function looks like suppose f x if I draw f x x. So, we will show some of the example then it will be more clear just we are uh, writing uh, just a property suppose this is a density function. So, uh, suppose this is a and this is b and we want to find the probability inside this interval x is taking the random variable taking the well, what is the probability that the random variable x is taking inside this interval. This probability is nothing but so if you take uh, the area under this curve. So, this is nothing but this is the probability that the probability that x is uh, greater than a uh, less than equal to b which is, is nothing but a to b uh, f x x d x. So, this is the probability. Now, uh, if you uh, so uh, because uh, this is so if you uh, take this is as this also suppose uh, x greater than equal to a. So, in that case also this probability uh, will be same because under this curve this is it does not change a to b f x x d s. So, you can take closed interval half closed has open open interval also. So, uh, in the continuous case one important property is that probability at a point any point probability at a point some small x suppose if you say any real number suppose 2 this is equal to 0. So, if you take suppose a at a point a this is equal to 0. So, where a is any real number probability at a point is 0. So, uh, this is the difference with the uh, discrete random variable and continuous random variable. For discrete random variable uh, x taking some of the discrete points and probability exists on that uh, non-zero probability exists uh, on that uh, discrete point only. But for the continuous random variable case at a point the probability is 0. So, because if you can uh, think like what is x equal to a, a. So, here you can see that probability that a less than equal to x less than equal to a, again a if you consider this is nothing but a to a f x x d x. So, this is nothing but 0 because uh, on a line only you are not taking any uh, this uh, distance anything here. So, in that case on a line in a two dimensional space the area is 0. So, in that case uh, it is just a it is not a uh, proof that at x equal to a it is 0, but it is just a intuition to understand it why it will be 0. So, because the probability you are finding by under the curve area under the curve. So, uh, when 
we are uh, trying to find area under the curve when uh, there is no two points, only two points are same, it is just A becoming uh, B going to close to A, in that case its area go goes to 0. So, uh, a, it is one uh, example that suppose uh, someone uh, ask that uh, is the uh, always to that uh, probability or uh, impossible event means that it is a null set only, impossible means it is uh, probability may be 0. So, uh, impossible in event means it, it is it cannot happen. But in that case here you can see that uh, this um, if you are considering a continuous random variable, some of the real number it is possible, it can come, it is not an impossible event, but uh, the probability uh, is 0. So, uh, even if you take a countable set also, the probability on a countable set it will be 0, because uh, the uh, because by the uh, uh, this uh, axiom 3, axiom 3, if you consider this collection of uh, countable uh, set like this, uh, then uh, probability at x is equal to a i at a point it is 0. Now, what will be the uh, probability suppose a is this set, so then what will be the probability of a? So, by it is nothing but the countable union of i is equal to 1 to n uh, this a i. So, this is nothing but uh, probability of this. So, this probability of this is nothing but by assume 3, uh, this is nothing but summation of i is equal to 1 to n probability that x is equal to a i. So, that x is equal to i is 0, so that is why this is nothing but uh, because sorry n is equal to 1 to infinity. Uh, so, uh, this is nothing but uh, uh, this is a i is equal to 1 to sorry not n, this is infinity. So, this is a i is equal to 1 to infinity because all probabilities are 0, it is a convergent series and it will converge to 0 only. So, uh, these are the uh, some of the properties. Now, how you will suppose you have given cumulative distribution function, you know the cumulative distribution function. So, somewhere uh, uh, it is given. So, then how you will find the probability density function? It is very straightforward because it is defined by uh, the derivative of this ddx of fxx. So, this is the uh, de definition of a uh, probability density function. So, this is ddx of fxx for all x belongs to real number. Now, suppose um, uh, somehow you know first the probability density function or somebody gave us the uh, probability density function, this is the form. So, we will discuss some of the in the continuous random variable cases, mostly it will be convenient to uh, understand it by density function, probability density function. Most of the time we will discuss the example by density function. When our density function is given, how we will find the cumulative distribution function. So, what is cumulative distribution function? So, cumulative distribution function is nothing but uh, probability that x is taking less than equal to x. So, that is uh, nothing but, uh, so probability x equal to less than equal to x is nothing but, here actually uh, this is same as x less than equal to x, this left hand side we, we do not write, it is nothing but minus minus to plus uh, x, uh, x is taking the in the interval. So, we know that uh, whenever we are talking about uh, whenever a less than x less than equal to b, so then this in uh, probability is nothing but f x x dx. Now, if a goes to minus infinity, so we can find this probability here. So, this is the in general case. Now, uh, so uh, here, So, we know that uh, probability that uh, what is a less than x less than equal to b, this is nothing but integration a to b f x x dx. So, this concept if you take a goes to minus infinity, so then this probability will find minus infinity to x f x. Uh, so, here we are using this variable x here fix some real number. So, what we will do here we will this integration we will take uh, some other variable dt. So, here also we will take dt. So, a to b f x t d t. So, that means uh, this is the uh, density function, suppose this is the probability density function and then um, the basically a to b we have already discussed, but it is actually this x is a uh, real number. So, then uh, what is the area? So, this is the actually area minus mid to x and this area is nothing but f x x. So, this is nothing but this value minus mid to x f x t d t. So, this is the uh, cumulative distribution function with respect to the probability density function, whenever this probability density function are given to us. So, let us discuss uh, some example of uh, continuous random variable or probability density function. So, uh, this example suppose let us consider uh, let, let f x. So, 
first we will check whether so suppose f x x b a function defined by so f x is a function defined by so suppose uh, this is is equal to suppose x square sub c into x square some constant whenever uh, x is greater than minus 1 less than uh, greater than minus 1 less than suppose 3 suppose let us consider. So, and other 0 uh, otherwise 0 otherwise suppose let us consider this. So, c is a constant where where c is a we have to find that value. So, question is that find c so that f x is a probability density function, probability density function, density function of a random variable x. So, we, are, we need to find the c. So, first of all we have to check that whether uh, for any c it, be, it, it will be always a probability density function. Then question that uh, whenever you are finding the c, find probability that x is taking suppose less than equal to 0. Uh, okay. So, let us take find the value x less than equal to 0, probability that x less than equal to 0. So, this is the question suppose. Now, how we will find that? So, because uh, it is a if it is a probability density function because it is asked that c is a constant find c so that f x is a probability density function. So, because it is a probability density function it will satisfy the condition of the probability density function. These conditions are written here f x x will be greater than equal to 0 minus infinity to plus infinity f x x d x is equal to 1 f x is piecewise continuous because the derivative is piecewise continuous and uh, this is the assumption of the continuous random variable a to b f x uh, this a to b uh, this probability can be written in this way these are the sum of the properties. So, now we have to check that all the properties are satisfied or not for any values of c. First of all you can see that this f x x uh, will be greater than equal to 0 whenever c is positive because it is x square c is positive then f x is f x is greater than equal to 0 f x is greater than equal to 0 if c is positive. Now, second property is that this if you take the integration minus min to plus infinity f x x d x this should be is equal to 1. Now, if you do the integration because you can see that this is non 0 only in this interval possibly otherwise it is 0. So, that is why we will take this uh, you will divide this whole interval in this way which implies this is minus infinity to minus 1 f x x uh, this is f x x d x f x d x plus uh, plus uh, minus 1 to 3 f x d x plus uh, then 3 to infinity f x d x this is equal to 1. So, because f x is 0 in this interval, so this will be 0 only and this is minus 1 to 3 uh, c x square d x plus again 3 to infinity of f x is 0. So, this will be equal to 0. So, then so then uh, we will uh, uh, so this is equal to 1 we have to solve. So, then we have to do this integration. So, uh, what is the integration? So, which implies uh, minus 1 to 3 3 c into uh, let us see that integration. So, this is c into x square. So, integration of x square is x cube by 3. So, then this is x cube by 3 and the limit is minus 1 to 3. This is minus 1 to uh, 3 and then uh, this is equal to 1. So, which implies uh, x cube uh, this is c by 3 uh, x cube 27 uh, minus uh, minus of uh, x cube again it is coming uh, minus 1 minus 1. So, this will be plus 1. So, uh, please check that. So, 3 into uh, 3 27 then minus of minus 1 whole cube. So, again another minus is coming. So, this is, is equal to 1. 
So, which implies uh, this is uh, C is equal to uh, 3 by 28. 3. So, that is why our density function it is coming f x is nothing but 3 by 28 uh, this is x square whenever uh, x is greater than minus 1 less than 3 this is equal to 0 otherwise. Okay. So, uh, note that again I will I am mentioning here. So, uh, this function uh, whenever you are defining if you take it is a open interval or you can take half closed anywhere you can keep close or open it does not change because it is a continuous random variable. At a point the probability is 0, so your probability will not change. So, you can either represent it by this closed interval or half closed half open interval right side closed left side open or left side closed right side open or you can uh, represent by open intervals. So, it will be same. So, now next question is that, so you can see that this function satisfy all this relationship uh, all the properties mostly this are these are the important properties f x will be greater than equal to 0 and integration if you take it will be 1. So, we have this uh, const constant 3 by 28 then it will be 1. Now, if you find the how you can find the probability that uh, x is uh, less than equal to 0. So, probability that uh, x is, so the second question was that what will be the fine probability of x less than equal to 0. So, x is less than equal to 0, this will be nothing but, this will be nothing but, so integration uh, minus infinity to, so basically uh, x is less than equal to 0, so left hand side there is no, uh, it is not given any bound that means we consider it is greater than minus infinity. So, to 0 then this is f x dx. So, now uh, this density function exists uh, non-zero it will be uh, whenever it is minus greater than minus 1. So, we will break this interval. So, minus infinity to minus 1 uh, f x dx plus this is minus 1 to uh, 0 minus 1 to 0 f x dx. So, uh, then what we will found find? So, this will be nothing but minus infinity to minus 1 f x dx. So, because this is 0 in this interval, so this will be nothing but 0 plus minus 1 to 0 f x dx, minus 1 to 0 f x dx is minus 1 to 0 f x is here. So, this is minus 1 to 0 3 by 28 x square x square dx. So, then what we will do? We will do uh, the integration, this is nothing but 3 by 28 x s cube by 3 uh, minus 1 to 0. So, then uh, it will be nothing but which is, is equal to since it is 0 it is 0 minus of minus 1 whole to the power cube it will be minus 1 again minus. So, it will be plus 1. So, 1 by 3. So, it is 3 by 28 into 1 by 3. So, this is cancelled. So, this probability is nothing but 1 by 28. So, uh, this is one example of probability density function. We will discuss some more example. Suppose let us consider another example here.